Hello, it's Simone. Welcome back to my channel or if you are a new subscriber, I'm really really happy that you are here. It's so much fun to make these videos and knowing that someone is actually watching them and liking them and subscribe to my channel just makes it even better. So last week I did my very first Facebook Live video in the Coco Daisy Planner fans group and I was so... I had so much adrenaline in my <laughs> body that I just kept going and filmed the rest of um, the another journaling spread and this is exactly what I'm doing here. So I started to work on it and then I thought why don't I just turn the camera on and make another uh, video. So I have one for my Tuesday journaling and Traveler's Notebook series. So that's what I did. I uh, started, this is just um, journaling bits and pieces of my July. I do not have a common topic for all of these photos. There is just random bits and pieces as the title says. And so um, I'm trying to make them work together on this page. I started by adding in the in the top you can see there is a picture of photos uh, uh, photos. There's a photo of books that I bought at a bookstore and I actually kept the receipt and just put it down as some kind of ephemera. And then I um, to just make these um, work, the, the rest of the photos that um, happened on the same day, I put them on some pattern paper. And I don't know what's wrong with me, but I seem not to be able to work with those fishtail banners. At least not some that I make myself, because I just filmed a... Um, scrapbooking video where the, I used a sketch and there was a fishtail banner in the sketch and I tried and cut the paper with a fishtail on both sides. Nope, cut it off just like here in this video. So maybe I just shouldn't use fishtails anymore. Okay, now I wanted to use that oh yeah die cut but I thought it just looked a little bit lost and so I picked a label. Orange always works great, especially with the um, July Coco Daisy inserts. The, the papers, some of them were kind of orangey and it was a nice contrast here and so I used it. Okay, so I have been thinking about using those letter stickers. I want to use them up and I thought mm, maybe I should. And so I am going, I just figured out if there were enough letters to spell the word bookstore. Um, and I uh, never, I can never resist a good bookstore is what the tab and the label says. And then I think I went in, back in later and added something to the label and just wrote that I had I brought a book home for every one of my children and myself. I'm not really that happy with the way the letter stickers end up on that page, but in the end it doesn't really, it's not that noticeable um, because I'm trying to just cover it up with what I have here. So what I'm looking for now is something to put on the top there. I don't know if I find something. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh yes, right, exactly. I am going to use those arrows from the functional, no not functional, I'd call it the pretty A5 planner stickers from Coco Daisy. Those usually come in, or not usually, those are always included in the planner kit. And then uh, just to have those arrows be a repetitive embellishment uh, on that page. I put them down on the bottom and even though I haven't um, um, written down any journaling yet, I know that this is exactly what I like and then I'll just make the journaling 
fill in. And then I remembered that we had a stamp set in the, I think it is the July Day in the Life kit that works, yeah, that works, that is sent out in the middle of July, that is sent with the August planner kits. That's a little bit confusing, but once you get the hang of it, you'll, you'll just, it works. So there was a wine bottle <laughs> and my husband and I, we just thought we needed margaritas. And so we went to the store and bought all the ingredients and made ourselves really yummy margaritas. And I actually even um, decorated the glasses. And so I took a photo and that's what I will be journaling about then. And let's talk a bit about the journaling because I have actually uh, done all of my journaling. I haven't really finished my journaling yet. This is the only page that is really that I journaled on because I filmed the process, but I really enjoyed just sitting down and putting the things on the pages and not really writing things down yet. So this is since I'm actually I just finished yesterday. I finished my whole book with putting in all the photos and all the ephemera and decor decorative parts of the journal. I um, need to go back in and that's my plan for tonight and journal all of the rest of the pages. I think it is because I really love watching YouTube videos while I create. It just feels more, feels like I'm crafting with friends and when they when people talk on the videos, I just can't concentrate and write what I'm doing there. So instead of um, interrupting my creative flow, I just kept on going and sometimes created even two pages and plan on going back and journaling now later. So hopefully the spaces I left are enough space and it works. Let's see, I will tell you in my next, in my flip through, how that actually worked out. So now I continue to move on to the next page and I had, when I put in the photos and sometimes when I come upon a die cut and I think, oh, that works, would work well with this and this photo, I just put the die cut uh, to, onto the same page where the photo is so that I remember that I wanted to use it. But I wanted to use that uh, rectangular rectangular uh, die cut and it didn't even work as a layer, unfortunately. I'm trying to include a selfie of myself every month just to see how, <laughs> how fat I get. No, not that. That's not the reason. Just because I want to have myself in the photos. And I thought maybe having a selfie every month would work. And this is a photo of myself when I, uh, with this skirt that I made several years ago. I really like it. And I have actually, I have two, one more in the teal uh, color scheme and one in the more pinkish color scheme. And I just took a photo because I wore it for the first time this summer. And then I thought that sticker would work as well. The mermaid hair don't care because usually, um, in the morning my hair sometimes looks very messy and so let me talk about the stickers and the die cuts because when I'm journaling I really want or not only when I'm journaling all the time I really want to use everything I have which is sometimes not as easy as it might seem I really have a hard time using very themed things and in July there was a lot of beach themes because a lot of people go to the beach in July. We didn't because it was so hot and there's a summer vacation and there's so many people going to the beach all the time that we just, we just didn't really have the urge to go. We love going to the beach in the spring and in the fall. And so I will use these beach themed things probably then. And yeah, I'm just really trying to use everything up and use as layers and you see, I'm trying here. So what I talked about in my Facebook Live video and I'm actually, I just 
downloaded it from the Facebook page and uploaded it to my channel so you could actually go back and re-watch it if you wanted it. It's um, I really need to learn because I need to repeat the questions people have so that it makes sense later on. But um, yeah, I am obsessed with lines and grounding things and you can see that um, sometimes I like here I make I try to get the to line up the edges of the photo so they so the the edge is lined up then I sometimes try to uh, ground a photo by placing it deliberately on a line or a little bit above the line sometimes I'm taking up lines from the uh, picture from in the picture and placing my photo on a line in my journal so that those lines continue if that makes sense okay so now i we played settlers i think that's what it's called in uh, english my sons and i and i totally they lost and i won and it felt so good because usually i am the big loser in any game and so i had to uh, journal about this and i really had to um to just stress that and so I wrote I win they lose um, what else is there to say I'm finishing with the journaling and you can see I added another one of those tab labels here I just used it as a regular label it doesn't really need you don't really need to use this as a a tab to fold it around corners you can just use it as a label and again I grounded it with something with the washi tape and I used the same one that I used in the top left corner just to repeat this element on the page again and now I'm done and I'm thank you I thank you so much for watching please leave a comment below I will see you next time bye